So one of the biggest issues using cache plugins to improve your website speed will be they will break your website. Maybe you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin or you're using WP Rocket plugin. Sometimes they break your website. And one of the most common issues is when the menu breaks, especially on mobile devices. For example, you can see this is my website and menu is working very nice on desktop devices. But when I go to mobile devices, you can see if I try to open the menu, menu is breaking. And this is issue faced by so many people. And I received so many comments on my channel too that their mobile menu is not working. After installing Lightspeed Cache plugin or using W Rocket plugin or any other plugin. And please watch this video completely because if you watch the video half, you will not know the complete solutions and then you will complain that your website menu is still breaking. Okay, so I will tell you two things. One will be for technical people to fix your website in a right way. And second will be hack. If nothing is working, you can try this hack and you can have your mobile website menu working properly even after using any cache plugin on your website. Okay, so first solution will be to exclude the JavaScript files which are responsible to create the mobile menus. And in case of Lightspeed Cache plugin, you need to go to Lightspeed Cache and then go to Page Optimization. And then go to Tuning here. You can see the option 8 number Tuning and then you need to add the JS file which are responsible for mobile menu because in most of the cases the mobile menu will be working because of JavaScript functions. Okay, so you need to add those files to exclude here. I'll show you how you can know those files. In case of WP Rocket, what you need to do, go to file optimization and then scroll the page and then you need to add those files here which are responsible to create the mobile menu. Okay, let's see how you can find those files and guys make sure this is the first solution. It's very complicated, but the second solution will be very easy. It will be hacked and can work for a lot of people. A lot of you who don't want to get so technical, they can apply the second solution, which is a hack. So make sure you watch the complete video. Okay, so let's continue with the first solution. So I want you to open your website and right click, click on view page source. So you'll find the page source code. Now what you need to do is and find .js. And when you find .js, it will show you all the JavaScript files which are loading on your website. And guys, make sure when you're doing this step, your Cache plugin should be disabled because if those plugins are enabled, then you will not see all these files because they are minified or combined. So make sure when you're trying to find the JavaScript file which is responsible for the mobile menu, make sure all the cache and JavaScript and CSS optimization plugin are disabled. We're gonna enable them after once you find the file responsible for mobile menu. So you can see here all the files are here. And then you can see the files, plugins, contact form. These files are plugin files and they're not responsible for contact form. Now it is a little bit logic. For example, you can see this file here, assets slash js theme dot min dot js. This file can be responsible for displaying mobile menu. So what we will do, I will open notepad and I'll copy this file name, just the last part and I will paste this in a file and I'll remove the last part here. Depending on your website, you may not have this last part. And then you can see there are multiple other files also. And then surprisingly, in most of the cases, you will have files which are very clearly known to display mobile menus. For example, you can see here, this file is theme ocean WP assets, drop down mobile menu dot min dot JS. So what I will do, I'll copy name of this file and I'll paste the file name and I'll remove the last part of the file name. And you can see the other file also here. I'll copy the file name here and then I'll add the file name again in my notepad file. Like this way you can make a sense which file are responsible for displaying the mobile menu. In a lot of cases the issue of breaking mobile menu will be because of the jQuery file. So what I will do, everybody should add this file jQuery.js and jQuery.min.js and guys if getting so much technical don't worry go to the second solution which will be hack for everybody you can try that hack. Okay, so now we have all these files. What we will do, we'll copy these file names and we'll go back to our cache plugin. This is the example for WP Rocket. I'll show you for Lightspeed Cache. And process is same. You need to find to exclude JavaScript files. Every cache plugin have this option. What I'll do, I'll paste those files here. And then I'll click on Save Changes. So now this file will not be optimized by the cache plugin. So your mobile menu will not break. So now you add all these files here, click on Save Changes and open the website in private mode and refresh the page. In most of the cases, mobile menu start working in this case. So now you can make sure that one of these files is responsible for mobile menu. And because now that is not optimized, that's why the mobile menu is working fine. So what we'll do now, what you can do, you can start removing file from the top one by one and then click on save changes because we don't want to unoptimize 
all the files which are not even responsible for mobile menu. So if I remove that file index.js, I'll save changes. I'll go back to the website and refresh the page again. And now if mobile menu is still working, that means the index.js file was not responsible for mobile menu. So I'll keep that file removed from the exclude list. Now what I will do, I will remove the second file and save changes. And again, open the website in private mode, refresh the page. If mobile menu is still working, that means this file is also not responsible. So what I will do, I will repeat this process for all the files. For example, I remove this file from here, click on save changes. And now I go by website and now the mobile menu stopped working. So which means this file which I removed is responsible for mobile menu. Maybe one or two or three files responsible for mobile menu. I will keep those files added here. So it will not be optimized by cache plugin and mobile menu still working. I will do the same process for Lightspeed cache plugin. I will go to Lightspeed cache and then page optimization and then go to tuning and then from here I will add all the files here JS excludes and you can see all the files are added. I will repeat the process and guys make sure in most of the cases jQuery.js and jQuery.min.js should be added here because sometimes if you remove those files all JavaScript stop working on the website because there is some error on the website so it is safe to keep those files here and then after what you can do click on save changes go back to website and then refresh the file and mobile menu should start working. And guys, make sure repeat the process removing those files because we don't want to unoptimize the files which are not responsive for mobile menu. Repeat this process. If you have some issues, comment on the video. I answer to all the comments on my channel. Let's go to second part because first part is really complicated. You need to go to source code and you need to find which files are responsible for the menu and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work and not everybody is super technical. So let me give you a hack which is really nice hack it will work in most of the cases guys. So if you're not technical, I will highly recommend you to try this second hack or second solution. I'm going to show you now. Okay. You need to go back to backend of your website and then hold on plugins and click on add new. And now you need to search here mobile menu and you can see there's so many mobile menu plugins here. What you need to do is try the popular plugins. For example, W mobile menu is very nice plugin. You can click on install now. Once you install, click on activate. I'll just click skip in this case and this works really fine and in most of the cases you will see when you use this method your mobile menu will start working because the theme menu or by default menu was broken by Lightspeed cache plugin or WP Rocket plugin or W3 Total cache plugin or any other cache plugin. By, by this method we are creating a new plugin which is created by this nice plugin. So you have this option of visibility option where you want this mobile so it is only on mobile devices. So I'll select the option 11 only for mobile devices and then click on save changes. So what will happen when I go to my website and refresh the page, you will see there's a new mobile here. Of course, it is not looking same. I need to add my website logo here. But if I click on mobile, you can see it is opening, but there's no menu here because we haven't selected the menu. So we'll go back here and then I'll click on left menu and then I need to choose one menu because right now we do not have any menu. So I'll choose the default menu, which I was using on my website. By default, you will see the menus you have on your website. I will select one of the menus and click on save changes. And guys, make sure every time you do something, you clear the cache of your website. If you're using Double Rocket or Lightspeed Cache plugin, you need to clear the cache. And guys, do not use both the plugins at the same time. Double Rocket and Lightspeed Cache, they're both activated on my website at the same time because I'm creating this video. Usually, you should not use both the plugin together at the same time. I created a detailed video about this. I will add the link in the description so you can see why you should not use two cache plugins together. So once you've installed and configured any mobile menu plugins, then you need to clear the cache, then go back to your website and then refresh the page. Now you can see the design change. I need to add the logo here, but you can see the new mobile menu created by plugins is here. If I click on mobile menu, you can see, I can see the mobile menu very nicely. It will work in most of the cases guys and you can design the menu from here. For example, I go to main option and you see we have selected top menu. Then I can go to menu icon. I can choose what I want as mobile menu icon. I can select a menu icon and then I can choose any of these icons. And you can choose the hamburger menu or header menu style. There are a lot of different things if you want it to sticky. There are a lot of options here. And you have logo option because you can see here my logo is gone. I can see only the text here. So what I can do, I can go back and then choose it image logo. I go to image and then I'll choose the logo image. For example, this is the logo of my website. I'll choose this logo and click on use image and then click on save changes. Now if I refresh the page, 
you can see the logo is here i might need to work on logo a little bit but yes this is a real nice way you will not waste a lot of time and your mobile menu will work on the website let me know if you still face any problem and guys i hope you watched the complete video it gives some value if it gives some value please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel i'll really appreciate that and this kind of good content can reach to a lot of people and if you want to know how to get your website number 1 in google search engine check out this video on screen